logic board replacement for MacBook Air A1466. The tools we're going to need are a T5 screwdriver, a Pentalope screwdriver, and tweezers are optional. Go ahead and begin by removing the two Pentalope screws that are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. There are 10 screws in total. These two that are slightly longer in the center top and then the eight going around the contour that are sl slightly shorter. Go ahead and remove those eight next. With all 10 screws removed, go ahead and lift up and remove the cover panel to the side. Always begin by disconnecting the battery. Go ahead and find that little tugging lever and pull on it to disconnect the battery from the logic board. Let's begin by removing the cable that connects the DC in board to the logic board. Go ahead and gently pop up that connection on the right side and then on the left side and move that cable out of the way. Now go ahead and disconnect the power cable that connects the DC in board to the logic board. Go ahead and pop out the speaker cable next and move that over to the side. Go ahead and remove one T5 screw at the end of the heatsink that connects the fan, the DCN, and the heatsink. Go ahead and remove the T5 screw that connects the DCN board to the frame. Go ahead and move that out of the way. Lift up that little eyelash right there and move that peripherals cable out to that little ribbon cable. Be careful with that. Go ahead and remove a T5 uh, screw from the fan on the left side and then the T5 screw on the fan on the bottom. Now the fan is loose but it's still connected to the logic board. Go ahead and lift up that little eyelash right there and tuck out that cable very carefully. You don't want to rip this. Be very gentle. Go ahead and just move that fan out of the way. Okay, now you can lift up on the DC inboard. You can see it's uh, tangled in by the uh, EyeSight camera cable. Go ahead and untuck that. And that's out. Lift up on the lever to release the LVDS cable and go ahead and pull it out of its socket. Go ahead and disconnect the left speaker. The battery should be unplugged. Lift up on the eyelash and disconnect the backlight cable from the logic board by gently tucking underneath it. Do the same for the keyboard cable. Lift up that eyelash and gently, gently uh, unpry this connection. Try to do that with a plastic tool, not a metallic one. Go ahead and trace out this last eyesight cable. Now disconnect the Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi card cables and that should release all the cables. Now let's remove these six T5 screws that are securing the logic board. Just going along here with these six out of the way the logic board should be loose and you can just gently lift it up. As long as you didn't miss any connections it should come right out. Logic board installation for MacBook Air A1466. Begin by placing the board and untucking all of the cables from underneath as you're trying to insert the board back into the frame. Make sure that the keyboard cable and the backlight and battery are all untucked. Go ahead and secure the logic board with the six T5 screws going along the contours like you see here. those six screws secure uh, let's go ahead and start reconnecting a good, reconnect the eyesight cable first gently pop that in now go ahead and tuck in the keyboard cable and push down on the eyelash the same with the backlight make sure to uh, tuck it in all the way and push down on the eyelash Now go ahead and reconnect the speaker 
don't reconnect the battery just yet reconnect the LTDS cable plug it in go ahead and trace out and reconnect the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth cables make sure to tuck them in nice and locked into their sockets now insert the DCN board and tuck in that cable in that notch the uh, eyesight cable in the notch on the side of the uh, DCN board go ahead and play it, place that in making sure you're not trapping any cables go ahead and secure it with the T5 screw attaching it to the frame now go ahead and tuck in that peripherals ribbon cable on the bottom it's kinda tricky go ahead and push that in and lock in that eyelash locking it into place now go ahead and reconnect the speaker just push it over the socket and apply pressure that should lock it in now the fan go ahead and tuck in that fan ribbon cable first push that all the way in to the socket and then push down on the eyelash locking it in now adjust its orientation now go ahead and secure the left T5 screw for the fan go ahead and secure the uh, bottom T5 screw for the fan and then the third final screw that secures the fan the DCN board and the heat sink together now go ahead plug in the uh, power rail cable and now we can cover the last connection connecting the DCN board data cable to the logic board go ahead and reconnect the battery place the cover back on top go ahead and secure the two uh, slightly longer pentalobe screws first and then the remaining eight going around the contour uh, of the MacBook Air